look and my hair it looks so nice i don't care i'm gonna give it to you like this here's why welcome to an october reset stay tuned you guys know this but I am an interior designer have been for many many years although I don't do many clients home because I'm now more of a business mentor with business system templates and kind of what I do on this channel and teaching people how to do digital products and stuff like that for their business I've transitioned over from designing aspect to more of that business side but I wanted to show you what goes on in an interior designer's brain because I'm constantly wanting to change things I have been in this apartment for the past, I'm going to say two and a half years, and some of the stuff that I have in this apartment was brought over from the old apartment. So I've tried to make it work. I've tried to live with a few things that I no longer want to live with. After this hurricane, I kind of wanted to take some time and do something different to it, something that I've wanted to do for a long time, which is kind of taking it from modern into a mix of modern and vintage style in here but what was happening is that since my walls are gray it wasn't allowing me to kind of make that mix so in here I do have some pieces here I do have some pieces that are kind of vintage let me show you real quick for example like I love this vintage bicycle with the black and brown this is my coffee table for my room my living room which is again a bit of a modern style so I might keep it to kind of mix in vintage and modern and since one of the shelves that I got has like black metal legs this might actually work still and then don't worry about my bed okay I didn't make it and then this is kind of mid-century and then with my black wall well which you're not gonna be able to see really I'm just cleaning so this shelf is a little more, a little bit more modern. It is actually an IKEA shelf that I had um, covered in contact paper, and it's dusty. So it looks like a wooden thing, very kind of like industrial and kind of over that style. And then I made the Besta unit from IKEA. I added like these legs to give it like that modern flair. Usually none of that crap is on it, but obviously I'm selling it. And so I wanted to change this out to something a little more vintage looking. And then of course I have my TV. So what I'm thinking of doing is adding like this shelf, this new shelving unit that's actually a little bit wider. And then this is actually going to extend from there all the way over to this wall. So I'm going to get rid of this lamp and have a sitting lamp here and then like a few pieces of art around the TV, kind of like a fake. So I ended up painting, and you won't be able to see it on camera, but I ended up painting this wall. This cream color is very pretty, but in this lighting, since I'm north facing, I don't get much sun, it looks pink, and I'm not a fan. I wanted something a little more warm beige, and not this like pinkish blue undertone. So I'm like, mm, no thanks. So I I would love to keep it gray, but because there's no separation here, like right here, it's and it's an open space. It would look weird for all of this to be gray. Well, you know what? I might let me know. Maybe I might. Maybe I might. So here I am trying to get my October goals in order. So this is my, well, this is this week. As you can see, I have a lot of mail coming because as you saw from this part of the video, I am redoing my living room space. If you guys want to see the whole entire home decor vlog, I think I'm going to actually post it on my other channel, which I will link down below and, and at the end cards. But um, I wanted to do this with you guys. So in order to reset this week, I do want to wake up early. But I felt like I I put that last week. And I want to work out four times this week. I put that last week as well. But this is doable. Definitely doable. 
this didn't work out last week because of the hurricane. So I want to pick something else to focus on. I still want the same kind of potential schedule. So I'm going to leave that. I, I do want to finish American Dirt this week finally. I didn't finish last week. Things were a little crazy. I want to work out at, at least four times. But I'm going to remove this because I've already kind of mastered that for this week. I do want to draft three emails and post at least three TikToks. Um, I have to think of another business thing. I think I want to... And this is... If you saw my last reset, this is the same thing that I actually put in my Trello boards for business. So my Trello board gets all the business stuff. So I have to sit down and revisit that. So I want to do... Revisit... My quarterly... Business goals i think i want to do that and i want to do that this week and i want to post three emails not post i want to draft three emails um, my finances is not adding 20 dollars to novo what i'm going to do is for finances i want to curb spending and i'm going to put in no delivery I'll leave it at that and then I'll add something else. But this is what I wanted to show you. So these are still my monthly goals every month. But the end of my September goals. So this is my September. And the end of it, it asks you to moments of the month. So I still haven't written down what I, you know, kind of what this picture is. But this is me on the cruise looking all cute and curvy <laughs> and very tan um and then i'm just gonna write about that and then i'm just gonna write a little thing about how this month was this month was not the greatest when it came to goals and then next month i will so i want to finish that off um not in this video because i like to sit down and think about my goals and then i have these two um focus that i had last month so i'm trying to think what my focus is this month so I already called for information for that and yes before you guys come for me and do not know how to drive I am a New Yorker and we didn't learn that so I'm over here getting myself situated as an old woman but it is what it is I need to finish off my name change application I need to go get my fingerprints I put this last month did not do it I don't know what the heck happened to September but it flew it flew by and I don't know what happened. So those are my intentions. And then my my month, I just did a quick, I haven't even finished fixing this. Um, here's a little tip. Whenever you want to plan something, make sure that you finish it. Stuff like this. Make sure that you add it to your actual calendar. Put it on your Google Calendar. Set the exact date. I never put these two on. Actually, I finished this one. I never put the, the XD course i never put it on the calendar so guess what even though it's in my priorities i never scheduled for it so i never did it so that's a big tip for all of you guys just make sure that even though you put it as your goals for the month make sure you actually sit down and schedule it and then just quickly i um put some of my stickers up here and just did like my work my day off my paydays this is the payday sticker that you've seen before and then my Halloween stickers. And speaking of which, let me show you the two collections that I have out now. All right, so this is the first Halloween sticker collection. It is chic Halloween, as it implies here. So it's just more about witches, and this has resting witch face, gasp with a little spider, with a little spider web. I have trick or drink, cause you know, we're girls and we're chic. This one just says eat, drink, and be scary. This one says stay spooky. If the shoes, if the shoe fits, wear it. I pull a spell on you. And wait, that was not the first page. So this is the October that you just saw on my other calendar. Hello October, trick or treat. This I love. This is a witch, a woman owning her own power. So I wanted to kind of play on words. I love this one. This one just just a little baddie. <laughs> and then like you know a lady laying down 
31st of October, etc. You get it. So that's the sticker pack. And I have like some, um, this is the October symbol. And some other cute little knickknacks. This you can use as a ribbon. It has Halloween on it. Um, it has caution, a skeleton, and 30, 31. And then of course, just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And little like post-its that you can use throughout your spread. You can use this and write on text in white or handwriting in white like this, which I think will look really cute on a spread. So that's the first one. Then the other ones, I wanted to make it a little more cartoony. So with that one, I used Photoshop and I worked with Canva to make those other stickers. But this, I actually drew most of it um, in my doodles in Procreate. So I'm still learning Procreate, so I'm playing around with um, just different images and things like that. So I made this a little more cutesy, as the name implies. So it's kind of like this pinkish orange salmon -y color that I mixed in here instead of like the typical orange. And it just has just cutesy little Halloween stuff, whatever came out of my brain, really. And that's that for that one. And then I do have a mystery trick or treat, but that's all I'm going to give you. Okay, bye. Um, so I have those two sticker collections out for Halloween. So if you want to shop, it's always linked down below. But let me show you as well what I have gone through with my other planner. I wanted to do this on camera, the best of September, and it says goodbye September. September is my favorite month, and I've done a lot, and things have been all over the place, but I think I showed this last time. It was kind of just a journaling spread, and then I wanted to do the same thing here with like pictures of me and the girls at the cruise. But I obviously haven't finished it. And then I want to do a best of September and goodbye September kind of like so they can sit side by side. But I still have not. So this is my September spread. So I was going to do like the best of the temp September, like the cruise, the music I was listening to, whatever. Anything that I want to remember from September since it is my favorite month. But as you can see with everything going on, I haven't gone around to that as well. And I also wanted to do um, a vision board for October. So something like this with the October sayings and pictures of just how I want October to feel. But again, still haven't done it. So I might just pull that up and do one and post it on my Instagram. As always, please follow me on both of my social media or all of my social media accounts. And I'll have that posted. And yeah, we're not really going to do much as far as resetting like I did in the last October video. Because there's, a, like I said, the hurricane, there's a lot going on this month. I went on a cruise, it's been crazy. But I will definitely come back in November at the end of this month and kind of do a um, November reset, a proper November reset, especially after like. My living room is done and I'll show you a sneak peek of that once it's done as well. So I'm just going to go back to my planner and I'm going to definitely fill this out of what last month went and why I didn't finish some of this stuff and then just plan my October, maybe change some of these goals down. I also do show you real quick i also do an end of the month check-in so it's kind of along the lot the same lines of that planner and this is something that you can purchase in my my shop as well it's just a template and it's just the big wins what i want to reschedule things that didn't end up happening try again in progress what worked new habits to make a happy memory um things like that and the lessons learned so i'm just going to use them in conjunction with each other like i'm going to fill out the monthly inset for September. So let me go ahead and do that. September and then now 
I can sit down when I do my actual reset and kind of plan out, you know, my big wins and everything like that and everything I learned. So again, this little template is actually, you can find it in my shop. Um, it's just called the monthly check-in under the digital planning section. And you can use that over and over again to check in with your month. And as you saw in my last reset at the beginning of the month, I actually sit down and do this, where what important dates are coming, what my type priorities are, the things that I want to learn, the things I want to buy, places to go, my quote and working towards and just to remember. So I do that as well. So all of this stuff has to get done. Again, not going to do on any of that on camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen record and I'm going to pop it up here somewhere. The video of me doing this. So let's go ahead and add our main picture. Let's add all of our pictures first, shall we? So I know that this one, you know, this is really annoying. So let's just go ahead and do that instead. I'm gonna add that. I like the white pumpkins. <clears throat> Maybe I'll add that to the corners. Add that to the other one. I use my October. I don't know why I downloaded them twice, but whatever. Let's grab our word of the of the of the year of the month. And I think. Wait. I might want the other space. Okay, so let's start moving these around. One of my favorite pictures of somebody's like um, Halloween decor because it's still like it has like that vintagey flair, kind of what I'm kind of going for. But like chic at the same time, I don't know. There's something about it that I really, really enjoy. I'm gonna add this. And play around with these just a little bit. I'm going to have to order these dab smack right in the freaking middle. Sometimes with some of these, you do have to figure out how they go. Remember I said I was going to crop this? I'm going to go ahead and crop this. I don't need that much stuff. I'm going to maybe put it over here somewhere. I need to cover up that. So sometimes you have to either add the picture. This is this is one thing that Good Nose needs to fix is they need to work on their positioning things because it sucks at this point. Anyone else been doing that where? You paint your pasting instead of. I don't know. I think I'm gonna move this guy up a little bit. Maybe. Let me do that. Definitely want October to be front and center. So we're gonna do October right here. We're gonna do our word renew. Here we're going to renew. And now we can kind of tell what we're missing, you know? So maybe I will do.
dreams I feel like there should be something here mm. maybe it was the way I cropped it that I'm not feeling I'm not sure You know what? Maybe I'll just, you know, add something key to it like a bat. Which I don't seem to have. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of it. Mm. Starting to see my vision, right? I know you are. No. Kind of like that there, but now I want to put in this focus. All right, whatever. Um, you know what though? Okay, I think maybe it might look better if it were. You think? Maybe, maybe, ooh, but you can't see it. Uh, okay. What about if we do another? And then we do the Focus, focus over top. I like it. I feel like okay. Maybe I can move this up just a little further up. Can I like that? With the renew. Since I want to focus on that the most, I think I want to make this picture go in the back. So let's bring that other picture back in. I want this one on top of this one. <coughs> I'm going to bring that picture back in. You know what? Let's switch it all together. How about it? Because I have like the books. And now we can bring the coffee back in. And maybe just do it a little smaller. Under that hocus pocus. Oh yeah. Okay. I think this is it. I'm going to leave it alone. Because it looks good. And I'll put this on my. Let me go do one more thing. All right, now I think I got it. Now I think that looks really cute. So I'm going to actually end it here. So thanks. So that is it. I am going to post my vision board on my Instagram again. Please follow me there on my two social media accounts, which one of them I'm not really doing anything on, but whatever, I digress. Um, I'm going to post this spread there. I'm going to end the video here because I think we have our new found word, which is renew. And I'm going to sit down today, later on, and just really focus on my personal goals and setting my things up. I'm going to schedule the class that I want to take, the two classes that I want to take, and I'm going to schedule anything that's important. Um, and I'm going to do it within the next few days and kind of bring me up to 
completing my goals and kind of like making progress on that progress bar for those projects and of course again like i mentioned many times in this video i'm going to post my um living room makeover on my other vlog channel i will have it linked down below as well so you can follow me there and in the end cards thank you again for watching if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up please comment below what you like to see i want to move this channel into the direction of less tech tutorials like i started doing on this channel and more productivity hacks more digital planning more videos on how to grow your business doing digital products so i'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials on that how to make a planner how to make stickers how to run your etsy shop so you're going to see a lot of that plus again throwing these productivity things um with apps like notion and trial on the things that i personally use to kind of keep all of this together so you're going to see a bit of a focus change um for the you guys that are new it's not going to be much of a change but if you're an older subscriber you are going to see that change into where i'm not doing i'm not doing as many tech tutorials like i did in the past like how to do this in Notion, how to do this in Trello. Now I'm gonna be focusing on the business aspect on getting you where you need to be to make that passive income. What to do, what ideas you can do to create digital products, if it's gonna be a planner, how to make planners, um, how to make digital stickers, how to make e-courses and things like that. So I hope that you enjoy this video and I will see you next Tuesday for another video. Thing. You know what? Scratch all around. What the fuck I'm talking about? Alright.